Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about the GPT-3 AI writer. GPT-3 is one of the hottest trends in the uh, writing industry. There are a lot of tools in the market like Jasper, Copy.ai, Writer and many more which use the GPT-3 model. And they are very expensive. GPT-3 is still in its early phase and some people believe that it will replace human writers. Whether it will replace or not is a completely different topic. but a GPT-3 AI writer can be very helpful. AI writer can be used as a tool for writers or knowledge workers in order to improve their productivity. The tools like Coffee.ai, Jasper are very expensive and they are not optimal for use in our daily life. So in this video, I'll show you a method or a technique by which you can use the GPT-3 AI writer right inside of Obsidian for free. Having an AI tool right by your side inside of Obsidian will definitely help to improve your note taking workflow. So let's begin our video without any delay. Let me take you to my Obsidian vault over here. To use the GPT-3 AI writer, we'll need to go to settings and install a Comte plugin called Text Generator. And here we have the plugin called Text Generator. It is by the author. I can't pronounce that name correctly, so I'll not do that. Click on install. And once you have installed, click on enable and go to options. And here is an option of API key. Let's first add the API key and we'll talk about all of these options over here. So let's go to our browser and go to this website called openai.com and go to the sec go to this section called API and you'll need to create an account. If you don't have an account, click on sign up and sign up for an account. I already have created an account, so I'll just go to login. I'll continue with Google over here. Here I am in my account. I'll go to my account icon over on the right top and go to view API keys and you can create a new API by clicking on create new secret key and just copy this from here. Click on OK and add this to this API key section. And now we have set our API key and here are some options. Before we take a look at these other options, first let's see the pricing of this OpenAI. For that, we'll need to go to billings and click on pricing and here we have the pricing. And it is very cheap, it is simple and flexible. Only pay for what you use. We are not using image models, we are using the language models. So these are the four language models that are available. ADA, which 0 0.0004 for 1000 tokens. And 1000 tokens, tokens can be referred as words. And here 1000 tokens are about 750 words. And here is an example, this paragraph is 35 tokens. So that means with 0 0.0004 dollars, you can write around 750 words if you are using the ADA model. But if you are using the Da Vinci model, it will cost you 0 0.02 dollars, around 750 words. So this is a simple pricing model. If you use the Da Vinci, it is the most more powerful model while ADA is the fastest. That's what the pricing is all about in the GPT-3. The advantage of using the GPT-3 AI model is that you can start for free. They give you $18 in free credit and that can be used for your first three months. You can see that uses over here. You go to your personal icon and go to uses here. And here you can see my uses. I have just used $0.15 out of my $18 in the last two, three days. So this is the simple pricing. Now let's go to our Obsidian Vault and see the options. So this engine means we are using the powerful Da Vinci model here. Instead of the uh, fastest ADA model will be the cheaper one while Da Vinci will be on the little expensive side but uh, it will be more powerful. Max tokens refers to the total number of words that can be created that can be generated by this AI at a time. So that we have set at 160 which will generally be around 100 to 120 words I guess. The temperature parameter is used to control the randomness and creativity of the model's prediction and the frequency penalty is here to control the probability of words to reoccur uh, that have already been generated. So this is the simple, these are the simple options over here. If you enable this option show status bar, the status of the text generator will be over on the status bar. So this is the simple settings for this OpenAI Comte plugin. Now let's go to hotkeys and see what are the hotkeys that are available that can be used for this plugin. So I'll just for text generator over here. And here are the four hotkeys that are available. Text generator decrease max tokens by 10. This means that uh, we previously selected max tokens for as 160 and if you uh, use this hot key the max tokens will be increased by 10 that will be 170 but it will only be tempor temporarily and it will switch back to 160 once you reopen your obsidian board and here we have the text generator use metadata hotkey this will use the metadata for as a context 
and here is another hotkey that is to generate text control j and text generator increase max tokens by 20 so sorry here was decrease and here is increase which means this will be 170 and this will be 150 if you use the hotkeys now let's learn how to use this plugin there are basically two terms that you will need to understand in order to use this plugin the first is called the considered content and second is generation command ai can't create content out of nowhere it needs a context to begin with the context considered by the text generator plugin can either be a line where the cursor is currently just like this this can be the first context if the cursor is on an empty line ai will consider the whole note as a context but if you select a particular text it can also be used as a context for the ai so this is about the consider content now you'll need to learn the generation command generally there are two generation command that is generate text command and generate text using metadata command so if you use the generate text command let's use the hotkey for generate text that is control j and you can see here text generator is processing so the text the ai will process something over here let me just remove this from here for a second let me use the hotkey for text generator control j and you can see text generator is processing over here and here is the writer writing something reading habit is correlated with success i don't know why there's so much gaps in between here this particular atomic note was about the habit of reading and it has suggested some topics over here now this is a simple example of using the ai writer to generate text without using metadata now let's use metadata in order to read the command so i'll just add a metadata over here title habit of reading and keywords books i'll just add some extra metadata over here books reading learning so this is the simple metadata for this particular note i'll just remove this text also from here so that the ai generates text only based on the title and the keywords over here that is the metadata so i'll just use the control alt j here you can see the text generator is processing right now the habit of reading is one of the best ways to learn things and gain knowledge it is also a great way to relax so this is the text generated by the ai now let me if i want to continue over here i will just click on control j to continue on this text and it has added more text let's say i want to use the generate text using metadata again that for that i will use control alt j command and the text generator is processing and the results are almost here and you can see the results are here so this is a simple example of learning how to use the gpt3 ai writer inside your obsidian vault there are more things that you can do with gpt3 such as idea generation let's talk about idea generation let's say i want to generate an idea about about an article that i want to write so, so i can say generate an idea about generate an idea about how to read more books let's see what the results are and here is the no here is one example one way to read more books is join a book club generate an idea i write so i'll just write generate 10 ideas over here let's say i write generate 10 ideas about how to read more books control j and here you can see the results get a library card join a book club go to used bookstores and these are some examples of using the ai writer let's say i want to uh, brainstorm some ideas for youtube channel brainstorm ideas for niche youtube channel i'll use the hotkey control j and the text generator is processing over here and here you can see the options the ideas the brainstorming are part done by the ai and this can be very helpful for people who are confused or who just we just want a help of another tool we just want a hand you can also write conclusion or summaries for your notes by using this ai writer you can use the summary you can write summary and you can use the hotkey control j and it it will and then it will write the summary so i don't know why it's not working currently on my side but it will definitely work on your side so this was a simple example of how you can use the gpt3 ai writer at a much cheaper pricing that is you can use it for free for the first three months and you get 18 dollar credit which is enough for using it as a helpful tool to manage your knowledge i hope you found this video helpful and you learned something from this video about the gpt3 ai writer and how you can use it inside your obsidian vault to manage information and knowledge thank you for watching this video and hope we will meet again in the next video have a great time